As we all know, high quality hay is very important to maintain healthy livestock. Horse, cattle, and other livestock producers depend on hay that is not only plentiful, but packed full of good nutrition so their animals will thrive. Yeah, recently the Monitor's Mark Wildman visited with one UGA Extension Ford specialist to get an update on the hay crop and learn some tips on how to maximize hay quality. Georgia hay producers can grow some of the best hay in the country. With plenty of sunshine and hopefully just the right amount of rain, grass can grow tall and fast. Livestock producers depend on good hay to raise their animals, so it is important for Georgia hay fields to stay healthy. UGA Forage Extension Specialist Dennis Hancock works with growers and extension agents, and he believes what you do with the crop after it is cut is vital to the farming operation. Well, hay storage is very critical, especially with the value of this hay in, in modern times here. You know, fertilizer prices have gone up and, and uh, the inputs that we have in putting up these uh, uh, square bales or round rolls or whatever it might be, it's a lot of money tied up into that. And it's, it's an investment worthy of protection. And storing round rolls, for example, outside on the ground is uh, almost a guarantee to lose about a fourth or maybe even a third of that. Um, and so it's just a shame to let that go to waste. Here in Rutledge, Alan Verner produces truckloads of hay, and his fields are full of high-quality, hybrid Bermuda grass. He uses the resources UGA offers through extension and feels they offer very valuable advice. At some point in time, you know, you think everything's going to be normal and you can count on, you know, this year being like last year, but, you know, the, the process ever changes, you know, with with uh, insects and diseases and different things. And, you know, we rely heavily on the university to, to help, help us deal with the, those problems that come about. UGA works all over the state on forage quality, and so far this year the crop is doing well, but conditions can change rapidly. Many of our cuttings have come off uh, at proper timing, and we've had decent hay cutting weather, especially the first half of the year here. But uh, yields have been off a little bit, um, but overall I think um, everyone's fairly in good shape. Now there are a lot of folks in South Georgia that are uh, very dry and have been very dry throughout the whole season. Um, but there, it's kind of hit or miss. Some areas have been more hit than miss, uh, but there have been quite a few that have uh, been suffering from drought as well. Experts not only stress good management practices that will increase hay supply, but they also stress the importance of getting the nutritional value up so the cattle get the most nourishment out of every bite. You know, I think there's been a renewed interest in looking at forage quality and, and uh, I run into a lot of folks who are saying, you know, I've, I've got this amount of RFQ relative forage quality in my hay now and I've made some changes to improve things. And I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the increased prices that we've seen in, in uh, supplement costs, uh, as well as uh, the, the cattle industry uh, uh, being in a little better state in the last two to three years compared to it was uh, four or five years. And there's been more of an emphasis on that. So as the sun shines and the grass grows, the hope is to have healthy forage. And as a result, very healthy livestock. In Morgan County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.